All right, I want to do this video kind of as an introduction to SAP SuccessFactors compensation. And so if you look at it, I'm logged in uh, right now as a manager named uh, Jeff Hill. And so if I'm looking at this manage my team, I can see that um, Jeff manages four employees, right? You're Ben, Jada, James, and Stephanie. So he's responsible for those compensation discussions. I previously did a video about uh, compensation insights that can certainly help with those comp uh, discussions. So definitely uh, check that out and I'll include a, a link to that. But now um, what I'm showcasing is using success factors compensation to do the actual merit increases and the comp planning. And so you'll see in success factors, this will surface itself a couple different ways. Um, you roll this down from the uh, top down across the organization for compensation planning. So all managers will have access to a, a tool where they can do this, right? And so this will come up in their to-do list, right? And so uh, plan compensation will be here. I'll see it on my homepage. And then Jeff also can navigate to compensation by uh, clicking over here, right? So come here. One of the things you'll notice if I come this way, it'll actually show an inbox where uh, I have access to, you know, in progress things, or if you have past years that are completed, that sort of thing, uh, as well as uh, anything uh, that else that you want to kind of see and filter that you have access to. So kind of already started this process. So I'm going to come in here. And now what I'm looking at is as a manager, Jeff Hill, being responsible for my four employees, this uh, allows me to do the comp planning for them all together, kind of in one nice uh, holistic view, right? And so here's my list of employees. I can actually add uh, notes. And so, I don't know, let's just say Jada has had a wonderful year. Uh, I need Make sure she feels taken care of. And the cool thing is here with success factors infusing AI throughout it, you can actually um, do this and say, all right, cool, uh, and a remarkable year. So you can use the, the AI to, to enhance your writing or do different things like that, right? So uh, that's kind of a cool touch. And then if you um, take this, you can kind of see that the note has been saved over here and it changes the, the icon here. And you can see what that looks like. Uh, you can go directly to the profile. So this is one of the advantages of having compensation with Success Factors Employee Central. I can come in here and navigate directly to her people profile, not in another HR system, and I have to go there and view it and do something differently. All right, being a manager, I'm, I'm taking a look at uh, Jada's job title, hire date. Uh, if I'm using Success Factors Performance and Goals, once again, an integrated suite, then I'm able to even pull in performance data for uh, Jada and, and have those ratings shown in here. So across my four people, I can see who my superstars are and who may need work. In this game, it, uh, case, uh, in my, my demo system, it's very uniform. All of my people have been hired the same way. Hey, look, I've had consistency on my team, which is always a good thing. They've been in the same jobs, right? And, and actually, even if you come across here, uh, they're all getting kind of paid the same. But anyways, uh, as I kind of scroll over to the, the right here, what you can see is the first thing you might want to look at is current pay information. So this is very logically created. In this case, uh, Jade is a full-time employee and uh, paid monthly. And so in this case, it's 12 units per year, and that's going to be what we use as we do this uh, compensation planning. And so what that means is, you know, if I pull out my handy-dandy calculator, and uh, when, uh, then I could do 2,350 times 12, and that would give me my uh, 28,200, right? And so uh, then as I come over here, you can see if you pull in the comp uh, ratio, that information would be shown here. The range penetration would also be shown here if we have that data in the system. Always helpful, and it's just more data points, right? And so if it shows the market pay ranges, in this case, it looks like I'm severely underpaying my uh, employees, and uh, the market data is here. For some reason, I don't know if it's the culture at this company, but we've had some great consistency, even though we're, we're paying our people well below the, the market, or at least what the data tells me. All right, now as I scroll to the right, what I actually uh, do have is the ability to now enter data here. So I'm doing my comp planning. And the way you'd want to kind of look at this is up here at the top, I have this 
budget information. So this kind of comes of like, all right, look, you have a total from a merit and lump sum to give $5,640. And then so far, based upon the planning I've already done, I've spent 2,820 and I had that much to, to plan. So if I wanted to keep everything uniform, right, I can actually come here and type in five. It's actually yelling at me saying, hey, uh, it's outside the guidelines. So this is configuration. So it's actually good to see this, that you can, um, in this case, pro put guidelines for your people. So if you're you know, responsible for compensation organization, you could say, hey, look, um, we don't want anyone to really um, get more than 7% or 10% or whatever it is, unless you, you want to have an explanation. In this case, you, you're requiring a, a comment to kind of be entered. That way, as a uh, additional reviewer of this compensation after the fact, you can kind of go um, look in, uh, into this and see, hey, what, what's going on here, right? And so uh, one of the things that happens is with compensation, you have a lot of flexibility to decide, okay, what's the approval process for this? So in this case, the manager, Jeff Hill, is going to do the compensation planning. After that, it's going to go to a reward team to say, hey, did you stay within your budget? What are the exceptions kind of what we're shown here? And then once they approve it, it'll actually be completed. And then, you know, if you're using Employee Central, once again, you'll have that uh, advantage of it'll directly be um, put into the people profile with the dates already there. And then if you're using Employee Central Payroll, this will all also be um, integrated to payroll where you don't have to do anything and um, it's just all taken care of, right? And so in this case, now that I've entered this 5%, I'm able to see, okay, you've allocated your full budget um, and now you still have some from the adjustment standpoint of $2,256 uh, to, to go and take a look look at, right? And so that's just these different boxes here. I'm able to see merit information. I'm able to, hear, to see adjustments we want to do. If there's any, you know, country specific adjustments, you can see the configuration of this allows some things to be, you know, already just kind of included in there um, or uh, hidden where the manager doesn't have to do it. It's just something that uh, as a central comp team uh, is able to do. So now, as I look in this, uh, you know, I have a field for a lump sum if you're, you're uh, doing that. So very, very flexible here. And then as I scroll to the right side, now what I'm seeing is the total raise. In this case, $150.40, um, which adds up these two fields, the 117 plus the, the 32 that we're kind of doing across the board at 1.4%. That means that uh, each of my employees for doing this uniformly uh, is getting $150.40 for each of their pay periods. It's a 6.4% review, uh, and the total increase across the, the 12 months is $1,800. And then the final uh, salary rate in, increase um, will, will be uh, $2,540. Right. And so then as I, I scroll over to the salary, it's 30480 And then, you know, if I had the comp data, the penetration range, that would show that. And so what this allows me to do is, you know, one, as a manager, I can kind of see the totals for my, my company or my employees, right? Current pay information of looking at this, hey, my people and my team, the cost of us Overall, with, with my four people, is 112,800. But then, as I scroll to the right, now this is what it's going to go up by, um, based upon merit increases, based upon country-specific adjustments. And now, my new uh, cost that we're doing is 120,000. So good to kind of see that uh, high-level information. One of the things that, as a user, you can see that there's also the ability to to hide and and um, sort columns. So in this case, I have job level uh, hidden, for example. But if I wanted to show that, then I can uh, show that here, or hide fields to make it less busy and that sort of stuff. Also able to filter this um, and see approvals. We have kind of instructions kind of uh, built directly into here. And then as you're doing this planning, right, because I'm adding comments, uh, I might have to come over here and, and add this comment uh, uh, as well um, for why I'm doing something beyond the norm. In this case, I just haven't uh, gotten it configured of, of the, the guideline, but I can add a comment here. You can see it's red, um, standard 5%. Uh, right, I can save this. Standard 
Five percent increase. Oh, okay. So it just saved it from earlier. Okay, cool. So now you can see that this is no longer red, and uh, I can do this. So standard five percent, and and then this will be visible to that that centralized comp team that's kind of taking a look at this, or, or the ones that have uh, set this as the rule, right? And so um, come here, standard. All right, cool. So now I have this, and the idea is I can uh, save this as I work through it, and uh, what this will do is save my progress. So you don't have to do this all in one take or anything like that, and you're not working out of an Excel. Instead, you actually have an online live uh, worksheet as a manager where you can go in and, and uh, do this type of thing. You can save it, save it, and close it. And then um, once you're ready to submit it, then you can do uh, the complete compensation planning and it would go through the uh, approval process. So really great tool, a lot of uh, advantages uh, to using this with Employee Central and of course Employee Central Payroll because it will just automate from comp planning to an update to the, the HR uh, record to uh, payroll and just make it really easy. You will also see, uh, by the way, I do have a top up here. Um, actually, I'll uh, look at this for equity and uh, uh, just kind of a summary uh, of both of these two. So if you're giving equity out uh, because you, you, you are whether publicly traded or, or uh, other options like that, then you can also kind of have salary data, equity data, and then summary data. All right. Well, thank you very much. This was my overview of SAP SuccessFactors compensation. Thanks for watching.